I've only had a couple of experiences with them and they didn't go well, so. <laughs> um, today's round was actually a lot more stressful than the other two, I think, and uh, it's, it's, it's really funny because I actually only shot one over, which to me is actually pretty good. I mean, like, I, I can't, I shouldn't complain, but um, looking at the actual score, like the total score, it, I've always felt like in between the round, even though it's not terrible, but I've been, like, it feels like I've just been blowing up everything, but, um, Overall, I guess, like, my putting could have been better, um, and I think I should have been more careful with my club selection sometimes, but overall, it's pretty good. Um, well, you obviously, or Hannah played good today, so she took over the lead a little bit over yeah. the round. Did you keep track of that? Well, there was a huge yeah. score yeah, with did. the numbers <laughs> right in front of me, like, so yeah. Yeah, and what about the last hole, then? What were your thoughts going into that, and obviously you regained the lead by birdieing it? The last, the last pull, um, I was thinking if I do not make this putt, I'm not eating lunch and I'm just going to go practice, but <laughs> I look like I made the putt so I can eat food now. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all I thought, really. Okay. Um, what, what was it like out there having to uh, go back and forth on a couple holes, you know, giving the lead up then taking it back? Um, as I said, it was... Um, kind of knowing that I lost the lead by one and I kind of got it back and I lost it again. Um, it was very stressful for me. Um, I was literally like hyperventilating for most of the time, especially when I look at the scores. So, yeah. So how does it feel now still coming out on top? Well, like, I think, um, I guess it's the same. It's just, it's really surprising that I managed to actually still keep up there. Um, especially considering my past experiences with the standard bearer, it's, I've always blown up every time I, for some reason, so, yeah, I mean, like, it, it feels great now. <laughs> How will you prepare for, uh, tomorrow? Again, you'll be in the, the, the final, uh, pairing with, with, with the lead. Again, I'll be practicing a lot of putting, chipping, my chipping wasn't actually that great, so I'm probably going to be practicing a lot of chipping, and, um, you know, trying to calm myself down for tomorrow and try as hard as I can not to look at the standard bear. <laughs> Do you think days like today, you know, will help you in the long run? The fact that you did kind of have, you said you were hyperventilating out there, but you, you did calm yourself down. You ended up taking a lead on the last hole. I mean, do you think days like these will maybe help you when it comes when it comes to, in the future? Definitely. It will definitely help me in um, days to come because this is one of the first times with, like, I'm in the final group. I am playing with people I know are playing very well and have beaten me many times in the past. And uh, with the scores, again, right in front of my face. Um, the fact this is one of the first times I actually managed to do well um, this time and managed to keep my lead, even though it's by one, it's kind of streaking. But um, yeah, it'll definitely help me. Can you just tell us about your body on the last hole? Like, what club did you hit? How far was your putt? That kind of stuff. Okay, I realized that, like, from the tee, I realized that, on the last hole, I realized that, um, that you guys moved the tees up about 10 yards, so I was like, yeah, so you guys actually not worry about the left-hand side bunker. So, um, yeah, I actually had a really good tee shot, which is surprising for number 18, because, yeah. And then, so I'm on the center of the fairway, and, um, around 134 out for the pin, and I took an air 8 iron, and then right before I was going to hit, like, I was just, like, just practicing and waiting, and I kind of realized, oh, dang, yesterday I used an 8 iron, and I pushed it way off into the right-hand side bunker. <laughs> so, um, I just realized, like, you know, I tested the wind, and, um, I was like, okay, just go for the pin, and just try, you know, just, like, have a good tempo, just be easy. And I, I guess I got really lucky with the bounce or something, because all of a sudden I hear clapping, so, that was, yeah, that was, that's really nice, and then um, I have like a four foot putt, so again, I was thinking I better make this putt or else. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think the standard bearer freaks you out so much? Because we asked you yesterday, like, you know, you had college coaches following you and you weren't freaked out, but like the score is in front of your face and you get all nervous. College coaches, like, I, the college coaches don't have numbers in front of them where I see, am I still in the lead or how much am I trailing by? The standard bear unfortunately has that, so every time I look at that, I'm like, oh god, I'm losing the lead, I'm losing the lead, oh god, I better do something, right? So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much why I always get nervous. So how are you going to try and put that out of your mind tomorrow? I'm going to have to think about that. <laughs> I 
think it's the best thing. Like, I'll try as again. I'll try as much as I can not to look at the salmon bear, or if I can, like, I'll just try to remember. You know, just play my own game. Just have to remember my score and say, you know, it's not that bad. You know, it's, I can't control other people. So. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay.